Right, time for the news. Now, it's been officially announced this week that Jeremy Clarkson is an arse. How's it going, everyone? Jake XVX here. Sort of back on Forza Horizon 4 today, but not quite. You know me on this channel, I like to do things which not many people can do. Stuff that informs you on things that you may not have known before. For example, earlier this year I made a simple video on how I was on the BBC News. Nothing to do with any games of any sort, but the video did really well because people just, you know, not many people can make a how I was on the BBC News video. And today's video is going to be a little bit similar. I'm going to do a video on my viral video. There is one video on this channel in particular which has so much more views than normal. It has just over, I mean, just about four and a half million views. It's still increasing. I do not doubt that someday it will hit five million views. And that's what I would class as a viral video. It's one of the most viewed Forza Horizon 3 videos on YouTube. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about it. I'm gonna tell you where the idea came from. I'm going to show you the production of the video, so how it was made and the work that got into it. I actually have the original um, project file from Sony Vegas, the editing software, so you can see the behind the scenes of this video that went viral. Number three, I'm going to show you the statistics of the viral video. So on YouTube, I'm going to go into my analytics and show you, um, you know, the views of it, the watch time, uh, where the views came from, where the views picked up over time, at what point it went viral. And I may show you how much money was made from that video as well. I don't mind showing that kind of stuff. It depends, you know, depends how all you think of it. And then number four, I'm going to show you the kind of reaction to it. What the comments are like, how a video kind of goes, what kind of feedback you get on a viral video. For a starter, I'd like to say if you like this video, let me know in the comment section below and give the video a like. Because I have another video which doesn't have quite as many views, but has some very interesting statistics compared to this one it's a lot longer video so it's a it's an interesting comparison that one so let me know if you want me to do another one a video like this i'm going to just straight into it four things to do the idea the production the statistics and the reaction to it so this is the video in question as you can see it's the second installment to the zero to 700 sorry the zero to whatever series bit of an intro i showed all of the comments of people asking me to make this video and then we got into the top 10 of the cars. Now, is this, yeah, I thought it was 60 FPS. It looks like it. Now, I'll have the link to the video in the description if you want to watch it for yourself, but just the top 10 cars. And obviously, in, in first place was the Toyota Supra, where it did a banging wheelie, as you can see. Look at that for a wheelie. So, yeah, it's just the top 10, zero to 700 cars of cars genuinely doing 700 kilometers an hour. And then the video ended. Let's start off with the idea. Of this viral video now i'll have as much on screen to explain what i'm talking about now the idea of this came from several different ways you may have heard of the racing monkey he likes to do zero to 200 zero to 300 zero to 400 kilometers an hour videos um, just on standard forza and they're very good videos and you may have realized that a couple of years ago i had the developer version of forza Horizon 3 which means you could mod it to to your heart's content. And I noticed that the Race of Monkeys videos, he did zero to 200, he did zero to 300, he did zero to 400. Because you technically can't do zero to 500 in the standard version of Forza, the Race of Monkey hit me up and asked me to get 10 modded clips of these cars doing 500 kilometers an hour so he could do a zero to 500 on screen right now. And then he stopped there and I thought, hang on a minute, I have the modded version of the game here nobody else can really do a 0 to 600 video and then a 0 to 700 then a 0 to 800 so i thought i'm gonna do it so i think i actually messaged the racing monkey asking if he minded because you know it was sort of his sign of idea thing that i wanted to continue because he couldn't continue it so i asked him you know do you mind if i do it and i did so i did a 0 to 600 acceleration video and i think it did really really well and because that 600 one did really well, I thought, right, with this 0 to 700 one, I'm going to go mental. I can't quite remember what car was in the thumbnail of the 0 to 600, but in the 0 to 700, I wanted to go all out and I made it the Supra. And as we know, on YouTube, the Supra is just such an iconic car, just in general, really. If a, if a thumbnail's got a Supra in it, it's going to highly get a click. 
especially if the Supra is wheeling, which I think in the thumbnail it is. So the idea came from a series that the racing monkey sort of started, couldn't really continue, and I continued myself with the modded version of the game. Now I have a 0 to 600, 700, 800, 900, and 1000. To this day, I'm not really sure why the 700 one did so well. I think it's probably because of the Supra in the thumbnail. People just like to see Supras. I never thought it would go this mental and get four to five million views. But I did expect it to do well, which is why I did it. Now onto the second thing, which is a more interesting thing, the production of the video. Now because this was a modded video on a dev version of the game, the setup of it took absolutely ages. You'll see on screen right now, this is kind of the, the, the file that you mod in the files of the game to get the cars to go such a stupid speed. And there's this one number at the end, and this is the number that you increase to increase the horsepower. And just increasing this just took so long to find that perfect point of a, of a normal civil acceleration to 700 miles an hour on 10 different cars. What I would do is get the 10 cars, edit the 10 numbers for all 10 cars, close this, load the game up. If the one's too fast or one's too slow, I had to close the game, go back to the file, change it. The amount of times I closed and opened the game again would probably be in the hundreds, literally. So even just a recording of it took absolutely ages. And now I'm actually gonna show you the original project file, which is here, as you can see. Now, I don't actually have the media anymore, so there's no actual clips, maybe apart from the timer. I think we just saw the timer up top. But this is the exact project file, as you can see, of the viral video. This is where it came from. We've got the music down there, the clips, the timer above it. And I think I actually split it up into two. I think the intro, yes, here's the intro here. This intro took so long to make because there's nearly 200 different comments that I had on the screen, as you can see here, all of which popped up with a derp sound. So I had to screenshot them, I had to find the comments, I had to plop them in. In fact, let's play, the, let's, let's play it here from the original project source. So yeah, that's the original file of it. It's quite weird to see that this project file, this editing is all the making of that viral video with nearly four to five million views. Now I'm gonna jump straight into the next bit because I know you're all looking forward to this bit the most, the analytics of the video. Let's have a look at the stats, the views, and everything of this viral video. So let's have a look at the statistics of the video. Now I've got the webcam off for this bit. I can't be bothered to explain why, but here are the statistics of the video in question. This is the lifetime views that it's had. Four point, it's, it's over 4.4 million now. I don't know why it shows 4.3. Nine million minutes watch time, which is just over 70 years which is kind of crazy but this is the graph of the viral video as we can see now as soon as the video came out for about a week and a half it was getting 50 about 50,000 views a day which is pretty good um, for, a, for a one video and then for almost for several months as you can see it only got a few hundred views a day for several months and then at some point here for some reason it picked up at the start of 2018 and it's just been growing, it's just been growing and it stayed at about here, This 30,000 views in a day there, wow that was random and even to this day it's sort of always been picked up since this little point here so although it did get a heavy amount of views at first it slowed down for about four months and then right here that something happened and it turned into a viral video it just went crazy all of these views it went down a bit for a little bit as we can see here but it started to pick back up again we can see that most of the views weirdly from from russia that's weird russian views there united states views germany uk poland has got a lot of views that's very bizarre 
and it's got a very very low watch time i've noticed that quite a lot of viral videos do have a very low watch time which is fine that's normal in fact the video is only five minutes long anyway so that's not actually too bad that's almost half of the video and the shares now this is quite interesting to see where this video was shared and if it went viral on any websites it was shared 2,000 times, it was shared 1,000 times on WhatsApp, so 1,000 people thought, I'm going to show this to a mate on WhatsApp. 800 people copied it to the clipboard, Facebook Messenger, text message, no idea what this is, but 60 people shared it through here. That's very interesting. Likes and dislikes, now viral videos of any sort usually have a little bit more amount of dislikes than usual. On this one, it's not too bad really. 45,000 likes and 3,600 dislikes. So that's not really that bad. And it's the same, it got a massive amount at the beginning, it slowed down for a bit, and then in here, it sort of went the viral. I think it got a million views around this point. It took a while to, to get a million views. It's definitely around here somewhere. Why not? I'm gonna show you how much money it's made. Now, it's probably not as much as you think from a video with nearly five million views, $2,443. Now that's over the past two and a half years, you've got to keep that in mind. So if you average it out, since this video has been released, it's given me about $100 a month on average, which for something that I've not touched in a few years is pretty good. Now at some point this will go down dead and I won't make any more money from it, but from four and a half million views, $2,400 is quite low, to be honest. Nowadays, if I was to make a video that's over 10 minutes long with four and a half million views, I'm ex I could expect to make five times that. But I'm not complaining, I'm very grateful for this. About $100 a month on average, just from this one video that went viral. And it's worth mentioning that from viral videos, the CPM's usually quite low anyway. And everything sort of looks the same. This graph, it picks up right here. This graph picks up here. This one picks up here. This one picks up here. This one picks up here. But it was all at this point here that the video clicked in a recommended section for some reason, somewhere, no idea why it picked up and went mental. It's just actually, it's just ticked over 9 million minutes as well. Watch time, that's pretty cool. Now let's have a quick look at the reaction of the video, what the comments are like. Now, you usually get a lot more hate than usual on a video like this, so let's scroll down. We've got the usual videos, which are funny, which, you know, are good comments, but I guarantee if I go to newest first, there's going to be a lot of hate. Here we go, this comment, so fake, cheat, modded. None of the cars in the world doesn't want more than 429, you can't even spell sheer on right, come on mate. Are these hacks or just really good upgrades? Is this modded? Is this modded? Blah, blah, blah. That's fake. Yes, obviously, mate. Cheats. This this is either the all-out fakest thing I've ever seen or these people have admin or something. But this is proof that these videos go viral to people who sometimes don't even know what Forza is. Because anyone who knows my channel knows that this is a modded video. I think I even said at the end, yeah, I even said here at the end, also, yes, of course this is modded. So these are just people that don't have a clue what it is, they see it in the recommended section and they think, hang on a minute, how is that possible? And I think that's probably part of the reason this went viral, because it's so impossible, but it, it, it is what it says it is, if, you, if that makes sense. And the people that say so fake or you, you're a cheater, those are usually the people that give it a dislike, which I'm fine with, to be honest, it's very unusual. Now, I don't know if this is another reason why it went viral, but if we have a look, lots of the comments are about a certain tie mark, 351. 353, 352, 354, 357, 354, 353, 352. And if we have a look at the 352 mark, this point of the video so many people liked. I don't know if that's why it went viral at all, but here's what they're all on about. You see, that's just, you don't see that in any other racing game ever. It's such a smooth wheelie at 700 km an hour in a Toyota Supra. Who doesn't like to see that? And that was what people just kept raving on about in the comment section. So that's quite interesting to all see. So to put it short, to sum up a viral video, you don't really expect it to go viral. As we saw in the analytics, there was at some point that it, it went dead for a long time, but then something happened then, a couple years ago, and it's just gone up and it's never gone down since. It's just stayed getting these views. And I think it's got to do with the thumbnail being so catching because of the super doing a wheelie. Because the video is so bizarre, so unusual that 
many people don't believe it until they click on it and see that, hang on, that's actually real. Because the views are coming from very random, scattered places, different countries, very low watch time, very random. So you still get paid for it, but a very low amount. And then you saw the comments. The comments, to be honest on that video, is pretty good. Um, lots of likes, not too many dislikes. But because it's a viral video, you get very random watchers that just don't believe it's true. They don't know who you are, they don't know what Forza is, they just want to say it's fake. They want to say it's modded and cheated, which it is, I said it was. It still gets weird comments. So yeah, I'm not really sure what else to say really. Viral videos are very bizarre, it's quite cool. Four to five million views, and honestly my channel only has about 30 million views total, so that's nearly a sixth of my entire channel's views have come from this one video. You'll have to let me know in the comment section below if you like videos like this, because if you do, I may do another one. So if you like this video, I'll do the other one. Just let me know in the comment section below. So yeah, let me know what you think of this video in the comment section below. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content, and I will see you all later.